Hey, good morning. Ben with you again for Studio on the Lake. This is part two of the Dragon Head series. Just like part one, it's long-winded. I threw a little bit more shameless advertising in here. Now that the coffee's on, let's go ahead and get started. This is primarily a power carving exercise. If you want to see a future video on that, click that subscribe link in the lower right-hand corner. You'll help me out. You'll help the channel out. We can be able to crank out more videos. The power carver I'm using is an Ultima from PL Enterprises. It's a two part. I actually have two of these an older one about 15 years ago and a newer one. That blue handpiece versus the black is 40 versus 30,000 RPM. Link is down in the description on where I get those. I am not affiliated with them in any way. I've just used them. The left hand side has the burner, wood burner pins in there, and it's under, under the name of Optima but it comes in an Ultima for the whole package. I'm quite fond of it. I have the older one 15 years ago that I did send the handpiece in a couple of years ago. I have new bearings put in it. Other than that, replacement pens. And that's the trick. This is a cuts all bit that's in there right now. This is a little more of a flame than the one that I have in there. Uh, same concept. I, I like the flames. Flamed shape. Just kind of defining the, the head of this, this thing and this dragon. The beauty of power carving, as you can see, as I speeded a lot of this video up, it's uh, two times, three times, four times in some cases. Trying not to bore you, uh, but not wanting to leave out large chunks and have it jump, jump forward. So it may be a little bit boring, but there's some other stuff in here if you stick around.
went ahead and switched back to the old chisel and, and mallet. I'm using that famous rubber hammer with the handle sawn off. This hogs out wood pretty quickly. And it's as, as enjoyable, although a little bit harder to hold. You can see I've developed a technique of flopping it around in my lap. Not the best way. You could really get into it if you clamp it down to a bench. I went ahead and switched to a knife. That's a Ramelson bench knife. Quite fond of it. Comes really sharp right out of the box. It's it's touted as a beginner's knife. But it's got a real nice shape. I went ahead and made another video uh, that you'll see if you search the channel, Studio on the Lake. There's, there's my version of the same. And I go from shaping that bad boy down to making the handle. Uh, at it and the blade is out of tool steel so subscribe for those videos studio on the lake is the place you want to be removes wood pretty quick getting the shape down of the nose as it comes out I will add uh, a couple horns up in there at some point this thing really has no design I'm letting it evolve as it goes along. Switching back to power carving, the, the yellow bits are cuts all bits. I think they're saber cuts all. Yeah, this is a flame. There's the assortment that I'd highly recommend. I like the ball, I like the flames, and I like the, the longer thin ones. The only one I really don't use is the one on the right hand side. They're touted as a medium or a fine coarse or a fine grit versus a coarse grit. I don't mess around with the mediums. I go directly from coarse to fine. You can kind of see that the fine cuts pretty well. Defining ridges coming down the nose there with this. And you, you can draw just like a pencil with this thing.
There's a ball in there. Ball lets you work in basically any direction. Working the tip out.
this kind of fun right here. I, I drew, f for lack of better reference, flow lines with the red on where I wanted the scales or feathers to flow. And I'm sticking pretty much with that on the back side below the eye. But what's unique is when I start getting up around the jaw, I decided that everything needed to go in a completely different direction. You see, I'm, I drew those kind of forward on that. And once I get into it, you're going to see that I went the opposite direction. That's just the way things go. Hey, check out my other videos, if you would. That's what I was talking about there. Hey, look at that. Completely opposite direction. So it must not have made any sense as I got to it. And like a lot of stuff, it could be wrong. This thing could still turn out to be firewood. There's, there's no uh, rhyme or reason as to how something turns out one time and another time doesn't. We'll see. If you stick around long enough, you'll get to see whether that thing gets turns into firewood or is actually useful. got a little bit smoother uh, diamond bit in here and I'm kind of defining what I decided were scale feathers for lack of better reference I'm starting to cut them apart a little bit
like much of the video that says speed it up. and you can kind of take your time. I, I'm, I'm really liking the shape of that. It's time to put uh, some feather grooves in there. For this, I don't know what to tell you. I'm using uh, ceramic stone, and I go ahead and shape those. I got a little stone there that's all cracked up and broken, Arkansas stone, and I put a sharp edge on it. Switching over to the burning pen, I pulled out the slick strip stick strop, and that's my diamond hone. I'm just lightly running this across that diamond hone to get the tip sharp, take a little bit of the carbon off of it. If you go to PL Enterprises over there in Minnesota, he'll he'll reset the tips for these pens. And if you happen to have the pleasure of talking to him on the phone he'll tell you what you're doing wrong with them and this is considered to be wrong stropping them and sharpening them but I've done that for 15 or 20 years and the tips seem to last me for two or three years before I have to send them in for about seven bucks a piece to have the tip replaced on there and hey they belong to me not him but you do you will get the pleasure of spending an hour on the phone with the gentleman nice guy and he will uh talk to you about how bad you're screwing up your tips. He puts them under a microscope and tells you what you shouldn't have done to the pen before he charges you seven bucks and replaces that. All good fun. That's that power carver set up like I have two of those, an older one and this newer one uh, that's right here. This thing unfortunately will set you back around uh, three four hundred bucks, but well worth it Those are the pens. I don't remember what they are. I, I believe the uh, one on the top is a heavy-duty uh, If you run a lot hot It's a little cooler in your hand that does kind of get warm Subscribe in some point in the future. I I probably will do a video on that This is kind of fun here, going going ludicrous. You can see, starting to take shape. Really don't know what's going to happen there. I'll switch back and forth between the pen and the stoning 
once I get into some decoys in the future that you see on there, that's primarily uh, the means that we're going. You just keep going over and over and I'm defining different uh, feather shapes. In this cape, case, feather scales, for lack of better reference. That's real time, right there. Sparks go everywhere. Fun to watch.
starting to take shape. I like the looks of it. At some point, I, I, I have feathers running down his nose or feather shapes on the ridges. I, I may determine. I haven't made up my mind. I don't know if I like that or not. That may all get carved off and turned into something else. I think it's looking all right it's starting to take shape on that you can paint these in the future or uh, at the end of this one I may paint it you never know and unique once you put that on there all the details really start to come out right now you see the burn and the what's left over behind it and then you can't really see the stoning shapes in there but once you start painting it that stuff really really starts to define itself out hey we're gonna go ahead and call this one uh, finished on part two Part three, I will finish this bad boy up. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't seen my other videos, there's a great exploding box and a spoon and all kinds of good stuff. So go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching.